Another Woman is the 17th film written and directed by Woody Allen. One of Allen's first dramatic character studies, it starred Gina Rollins as a woman turning 50, learning to change her life. It's one of Allen's more obscure films, and how well do you know it? Well, here's 10 things about Another Woman. I, I, I love reading books with him and it's all up here, all up here. Alan has nodded to Swedish director Igmar Bergman before, and does so again here. In particular, Alan nods to Wild Strawberries, Bergman's story of another academic on a journey through the past. Alan had wanted to use his two regular female leads at this point, Mia Farrow and Diane Wiest, in the lead roles, but Wiest was not available and Farrow could not commit to long filming. Jane Alexander was put into the mix, but eventually Alan rewrote his main character to be older. To star as Marion Post, Alan chose Gina Rollins. Rollins was best known for her roles in 10 films directed by her husband, John Cassavetes. Alan has said that Marion is the one character he feels is most like him in all his films. He'll seek out my company very often. He must need something. Yes, I do need something. Only I don't know what it is exactly. It was more than just the lead roles that had casting troubles. Amongst the musical chairs was Mary Steenbergen, who was replaced by Francis Conroy, and Ben Gazzara, who was eventually replaced by Ian Holm. <laughs> In the role of young Marion's father is David Ogden Steers. Best known for his work on M.A.S.H., this is the first of five Alan films that he would appear in for the next 15 years. There's a lot of ties to German culture in this film, and one is the subject of Marion's studies. She is writing a book on German philosopher Martin Heidegger. The film refers to two poems by German poet Rainer Maria Rilke. The Panther is Marion's favourite, and the archaic torso of Apollo, with the line, You must change your life, was loved by her mother. For here there is no place that does not see you. You must change your life. In the film, we see a painting by German artist Gustav Klimt. It's called Hope, tying in with the name of Mia Farrow's character. It was painted in 1903, and there is also a Hope number no. 2. The great old theatre that Marion finds is the Cherry Lane Theatre. It is the oldest off-Broadway theatre in Manhattan, having opened in 1924. Finally, Alan uses Chumley's, a historic speakeasy in Greenwich Village. The back door at 86 Bedford is apparently the origins of the term 86 being used to get rid of something. Customers would run out that side door when the cops came calling. And that's 10 things about Another Woman. Find out more about this film in our book, The Woody Allen Watcher's Guide, out now on Kindle and iBooks. Follow us on all your social media and go to woodyallenpages.com for more about Allen's work. And make sure to check out all the videos on our YouTube channel and subscribe. What would you say she was suffering from? Self-deception. Good. <laughs>